Now let's go ahead and discuss the split tone filter. I'll go ahead and select it from the drop down on the right. It defaults to a blue orange preset, and you can see those colors here in the highlights and the shadows. There are also three other presets you can select from there's a blue yellow, a green yellow, and a red cyan. They're also listed here in the preset drop down as well as over in the filters panel. I usually like the blue orange or the blue yellow presets to kind of start with and then I make changes and go from there. So the way the split tone filter works is it adds color to the highlights and the shadows. Here the highlights are set to yellow but if you click on that color swatch you can change the color to whatever you like. And the same goes for the shadows. You can change the shadows to whatever color you'd like to work with. And then you can even swap those colors back and forth if you wanted to try a different look. The amount sliders will increase or decrease the amount of color added into those areas. And then the balance will push the color balance from one side uh, or the other. So moving it to the right will add a little bit more priority to the highlights color being added. So more yellow in this case is going to be added to the image. And moving it to the left means that more of that blue in the shadows is going to show up as opposed to the yellow. And then the last setting, you can change the mode of the color that's being applied, like a blending mode. So the default is color, and you can also go through and see what the other options look like. So I'll do just a quick before and after so you can see what kind of changes are being made with this filter.